video, my DMs have been exploding with questions on how I got my uh, rev limiter or two step, whatever you want to call it, to sound the way it does. They've been asking for my settings, what I did, uh, blah, blah, blah. So, real quick, I want to make a video just explaining how my ignition cut is set up. It's really simple. Um, this pretty much works. I might title this like how I cut my car to shoot flames because that's what that's what everyone wants. They don't want the benefit of it. They just like, hey, how does how do I make my car shoot flames? So this is pretty much gonna be a video on how I did that on my car. So yours might be different, but this is what I did. So pretty much the reason why it sounds the way it does is because it's only disabling the ignition. Fuel stays active. Fuel is still being sprayed, going through the system, going through the exhaust, and it's the ignition that's coming in, cutting in and out. So with all this residual fuel in the system, that is where you get your uh, backfires, your pops, your sounds that everyone wants to make apparently. Also what I found is if you have a full exhaust, you tend to get better backfires and better pops because there's more residual fuel in the system versus like I had like a hood exit before this, just pipe going straight out there. Not that it's not possible, you can still shoot flames out the hood, it's just you have to, usually it's turbo setups that you see this happening to because they're, they're doing anti-lag, they're taking out a bunch of timing, they're loading it up with a whole bunch of fuel and they're still able to get flames coming out of the hood. But this car specifically is, is all motor, there's no turbo, no anti-lag. I'm not loading up the motor with anti-lag, I'm not taking away timing and doing like a fuel enrichment because uh, turbo guys sometimes they add 30, 40, 50% fuel to really load up that motor. Now that is dangerous, I got comments that hey I'm going to blow my motor up doing this. No, that's, that's on the turbo cars that are loading up their cars with the anti-lag, like I said, tons of fuel taking away timing they're actually loading up the motor I know for a fact because I blew up a motor by doing this I was I was doing rolling anti-lag through a rod right on the block and that was the end of that but this I, I think this is completely safe you're not messing with none of that it's just straight up ignition cut and messing with the delay of the ignition so all right number one so this video coming up, this is what a factory rev limiter is like. It's only fuel cut, ignition stays activated. This is what that sounds like. Okay, now coming up for the second rev limiter, this is typically what's on factory cars that have ignition cut. It cuts ignition and fuel at the same time. It's a hard rev limit, there's no delays, it's still beneficial, but it doesn't sound very aggressive or cool. So here's that one. And this is the third way. This is purely only ignition cut. Fuel is still enabled. Fuel is still spraying. There's going to be residual fuel in the, in the engine, in the exhaust system, in the, in the tailpipe. This is what's going to get you those crazy bangs and pops. Now to really fine tune these, these bangs and pops and get flames shooting, you're gonna have to play with the delays. This is, these are my settings, this is what I have. You can only go from like 100 to 500 milliseconds or something like that, but I found that going up gets you uh, more aggressive, obnoxious pops, and going down on the milliseconds is kind of like a quicker uh, race car sounding rev limiter in my opinion, but I, I, I like having the Reister bangs and pops, that's just me. So yeah, hopefully this video helps you guys, especially those like specifically asking how my setup is and how it sounds the way it does. But it's not just for sounds, there is actually benefit to this. With the way I have my rev limiter set up, whenever I go to shift, I can flat foot shift without lifting off the gas because when it hits that hard rev limiter, it hits it so hard and stops the motor in its path so quickly. So, for example, if my rev limit's at 7,500, at 73, I'll dump the clutch, keep the gas pedal on the floor, it'll bounce off that rev limiter, and st the, the rev limiter stops the motor in the tracks, and I can bang second gear. But with the fuel cuts are just so soft, it can kind of have some uh, some 
forward momentum and it's harder to bang gears with a fuel cut, you need that hard instantaneous ignition cut. When it bounces off that rail, you can time it just right. If you time it just right, you can shift it with one pop of the ignition. Or with the one pop, it's stopping the revs, bang the next gear, and you can just time it out perfectly where you're banging through your gears with no delay, no hesitation. major benefits I find to having this hard instant ignition cut uh, in my scenario but anyways I hope this video answered a lot of your questions thanks for watching see you in the next one later all right so before I end this video let me show you what I'm working with here this is a software I use it's called Honda tuning suite or HTS for short using at this time version 2.15 um, so your rev limit settings are gonna be right here under parameters parameter tabs rev limits here do you set the uh, Rev limit points. This is your fuel cut, ignition cut. This was the first. The first way I had it. The second way was both. The final way was the third. And then to play with the delay, you can go to launch control under three step settings. You set your RPM launch control. And uh, oh, for the rev limit, you adjust the delay actually in the rev limit tab. I forgot it's at the bottom. You got to scroll down. And here's the ignition cut, launch cut delay. You got to enable fuel ignition mod. This is how you kind of fine tune the way it sounds. But so these are my settings for my rev limit, two step, all that shit. Hope you like this video. Later. Life in a world that keeps changing. Think that it's progress you're making. Copy and paste pretty faces. All the time Pictures so perfect we play through Only cause you set up the angle The web that you weave got us tamed